walk into this room at your own risk. Because it leads to the future. Not a future that will be, but one that might be. This is not a new world. It is simply an extension of what began in the old one. It has patterned itself after every dictator who has ever planted the ripping imprint of a boot on the pages of history since the beginning of time. It has refinements, technological advances, and a more sophisticated approach to the destruction of human freedom. But like every one of the super states that preceded it, it has one iron rule. Logic is an enemy and truth is a menace. Any state, any entity, any ideology that fails to recognize the worth, the dignity, the rights of man, that state is obsolete. A case to be filed under M for Mankind in the Twilight Zone. again, you crazy internet weirdos. You are listening to Think Kirill, and I'm here hosting another episode for the, uh, the Socratic Method. And I've, uh, you know, the, um, information pipeline is never a never-failing source of the uh, ridiculous state of this country, whether it's mainstream or alternative. And as always, I've found a couple more things that um, are really ticking me off, I'll tell you. But uh, foremost, I wanted to talk about a... uh, Filed under the News of the Weird section in uh, Windsor, Vermont. This article has, has, if this does not typify the state of this country, I don't know what does. But I'm going to read this article about these two teachers and what they did that has brought such a shame on the school system there. So this article states, two Vermont teachers are accused of drawing on a new concrete sidewalk, causing about $1,500 in damage. I think it's hilarious, honestly, when you can, um, when wet cement, you know, has has a value of $1,500, but uh, I have no idea how long it, you know, um, Uh, Who knows, who knows, who knows, right? I wasn't there. But anyway, police say the uh, foreman of the project, who um, I guess was doing the uh, wet cement, um, told 29-year-old Abigail Howard and 35-year-old Jennifer Rist to stay away from the wet concrete on Windsor's Main Street. But police said they returned to draw what looked like a rat with the initials JR. <laughs> now I'm trying, I'm trying, because no matter no matter what I read, you know, um, I'm, I'm just looking and, you know, and I see what looks like a rat and the initials JR. I just, I, that's just, it's just funny. But, you know, what's wild is today, we can come across some of these old neighborhoods or, you know, where, um, Somebody would pour a little slab for a walk or something, and the kids would draw in it. And sometimes they, they there's a date. I mean, I can go all over this town and find things like that from the, you know, 40s and up through the 70s. You know, and, it, and after a while, you know, the the graffiti, you know, becomes a very important. It it just becomes important. It uh, if you see the. Uh, the value, the nostalgic value. Um, but anyway, I digress. So the article continues. Both were charged with unlawful mischief 
on September 28th and are scheduled to appear in court in December. WCAX-TV reports that the teachers work at Foundation's Upper Valley, a school for students with special needs. Now, hey, that, that's commendable enough right there. The station reports, um, let's see, Howard commented, th this is, uh, is, is a freaking joke. To, something to engage her students with special needs. God, you know, it makes you, stuff like this almost makes you embarrassed to be an American. Which actually, I was already working on that anyway, but, uh. This country's just going downhill. Uh, but anyway, it's supposed to be a dinosaur to engage its students during walks. In retrospect, in retrospect, it was pretty stupid, and I don't realize, and I didn't realize I would be hurting anyone. Now, how sad has society become that a teacher who does what um, already takes a very, I mean, a very very special person to, to want to be able to teach in the first place knowing that teachers just don't get paid and uh, who even takes it upon herself to go into special education I mean to teach kid, yeah kids with uh, special needs and when when you bring her to the point that carving a dinosaur drawing a dinosaur in wet cement Brings her to the point of saying that it was stupid and didn't realize she would be hurting anyone. Then you've got to realize something is wrong with the world in which you live. I'm telling you, I, people really need to stand in support of this, this woman. Hell, all she's trying to do is... Uh, here, here, here's a teacher that is going above and beyond. Uh, some people are going to say all she did was carve him with cement. But look at what her goal was. Her goal was to inspire. To give her, 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 her pupils something to talk about. To engage them, as she said. But you bring, but this society, the police, courts, they're going to bring her down to uh, the level of having to apologize that the uh, a picture of a dinosaur is now in her her mind. What she did is um, she's in fear of it hurting somebody. People really need to rally in support of this woman. I tell you, the Windsor police chief uh, police chief says new sidewalks and rock walls are being constructed. Um along Main Street as part of a beautification project. Well, that's good. That's nice. Quote, It's disheartening to find that persons who work in town would vandalize a project which is intended to improve the town. It's disheartening, you stupid jackass. Police Chief William Sampson you jackass. It's disheartening when, 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 when you're trying to quell the creativity of someone who, who dedicates her life to teaching children with special needs. You jackass. Because you idiots out there, all you do is you put a damn dollar sign on everything. And that's all that matters to you. Police chief of uh, Windsor is a jackass. Police chief William Sampson is a jackass. The school sent a letter to parents and guardians and community members saying it does not condone the two women's actions and has implemented a professional improvement plan to prevent a future similar occurrence. Yeah, 
You get what I'm saying there? The school's going to send a letter home because two teachers are responsible for drawing a picture in wet cement. Welcome to America. This is the most ridiculous bullshit. And I, now I've got to click explicit, but because too many people get too offended, you know, you know, bullshit shouldn't even be. It's 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 whatever, whatever. But yeah, th this is what happens when I see when I see this kind of crap going on in the country. They may as well be declaring a war on art again. The dollar amount of that sidewalk, of repairing that sidewalk, is more important than what a picture of a dinosaur in cement out of... Are you freaking kidding me? What's happened to your country? What's happened to your rights as, as a person? Oh, you don't know. Because you sit there and let them just go down the drain. What are you doing? What are you going to do? I can't express enough when I say to people that infamous Socrates, quote, be the change you wish to see in the world. The problem is too many people sit around waiting for somebody else to pick up the slack. And this is what we're reduced to. That two people who dedicate their lives to a profession that, in my opinion, based on the need to live in a society that is based solely on money, here are two women who dedicate their life to a profession that no, nobody in the right mind, if they want to be financially successful, would even pursue. But hey, as Socrates also said, if I live in, I, 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 you know, I, I live in poverty, I am a teacher. No one who dedicates their, their lives to education is going to be super rich. And if they are, then you need to think about what they're selling you. This this is this is the bullshit. This is the time we live in. That this that this kind of this kind of crap. But if you think it's going to get any better, then you. I mean, I would love to have faith that's going to get better, but I feel we are very sadly mistaken. I mean. When you hear of uh, cops shutting down lemon st lemonade stands of children for not having a permit, how can your mind not return to thoughts of Adolf Hitler and his merry band of SS outlaws? Hey, fun fact. Adolf Hitler's concentration camps and genocide were in part inspired by the United States treatment of Native Americans. That's right, we inspired Hitler. Oh, it's, I'm not just making it up, it's in his book. You know, Mein Kampf, My Life. But yeah, he states that. In other news, Yahoo Incorporated last year secretly built a custom software program to search all of its customers' incoming emails for specific information provided by U.S. intelligence officials according to the people familiar with the matter. Surprise! The government's reading our emails? Well, yeah, again, that's uh, no surprise. The company says it complied with a classified U.S. government demand, scanning hundreds of millions of Yahoo Mail accounts.